This video is for information and entertainment purposes only. If you are holding Kasava Sciences talk, then watch the video completely and do not miss important details, because this week is going to be a make or break week for Kasava. It is a pretty volatile stock and can fall by up to 50% in a few days, and then jump back by more than 50% in a week. This 50% dip and 50% jump took place in the last 15 days. But knowing the insights and having complete working on the stock, we took benefit of the situation and earned handsome returns through options. There is nothing to worry about, I am just making this video as a cautionary guide video to provide you guys with important details about the data release and trading strategy. There is no doubt about the upcoming positive data announcement, but holders should take note of one important thing on July 29. First, Kasawa Sciences will be presenting data for Sawa DX on July 26, and the Simufulam data will be presented on July 29. Remember, July 29 is the more important date. Sawa DX will be positive. The reason I'm saying this data will be positive is the clear cut positive title of the 26 July presentation of Sawa DX related data. Read the title and decide. Sawa DX, a novel plasma biomaker to detect Alzheimer's disease, confirms mechanism of action of simophilum. Now that's pretty self explanatory. Sawa DX has the ability to massively increase the total addressable market for simophilum. It is a simple blood based test to detect Alzheimer's disease. Even if we consider that Kasawa has only one successful asset, and that is Sawa DX, the current price of Kasawa Sciences is massively undervalued. Now, before moving on to discuss the July 29 event, just a quick announcement. If you are interested to join stock discussions with thousands of other like minded investors, then consider joining our private Discord server through Patreon. On Discord, we have dedicated discussion channels for our favorite stocks, and I too share my options alerts and buying selling alerts on it. For example, when Sawa dipped to 77 few days ago, we sold put options and pocketed a heavy premium, and we are already up 80% on our options trade. Our Discord members got early alerts on stocks like Biogen near 288 before 460, Sawa near 10 before 120, and Analyst near 25 before 97. I am not saying that every pick is 3x or 10x guaranteed, but comparing the downside of some of the stock picks with the upside of my unique picks is huge. The link to join on Discord through Patreon is given in the description box down below. Now let's discuss the 9 months data. 9 months simulfilm data should also be positive, but the main thing would be the improvement in cognition scores. If cognition scores improves further as compared to the 6 months data, then it would be a blockbuster result. Remember. 6 months cognition score improvement was 1.6 points, a 10% mean improvement from the baseline. If this score improves further, then this will be a historic moment in the human fight against AD. Because so far, no drug has worked beyond 6 months time period and proven to be safe. But even if data is positive, but cognition scores are lower than the 6 months cognition improvement scores, it should be taken as a positive. But the market can take it with a pinch of salt. Simulfilm data announcement could become a binary event depending on the cognition scores. So pay close attention to the cognition scores announced on July 29. Alzheimer's is a progressive disease, meaning it worsens with every passing month. So stopping the progress of AD is also considered a huge achievement. But the market might react negatively if cognition scores fall to lower levels as compared to 6 months. There are two trading strategies that you can use here. The first one is lock some gains and let your other shares ride through the data announcement. Or you can spend some amount and buy put options to lock the current price. Having bought a put option in case of poor data, you would be able to sell your shares at the current price. Whereas if data is overwhelmingly positive, you would only lose a few hundred dollars and get to keep your original shares. But given the circumstantial evidence, it is expected that the 9 months data will be positive. One of the main reasons is the confidence of the CEO of the company, Remy Barber, which is strongly backed up by the data. In B. Riley's neuroscience conference, he said that I won't spill the beans in the 9 months data, but we are pretty excited about what we're seeing right now. During another interview, the CEO said that it's the consistency of the data, from basic research to animal data, to the CSF biomarkers, to the early cognition, to the open label study. There's a consistent theme that in my opinion, the world of Alzheimer's disease R&D has never seen before. Moreover, the CEO owns shares worth 127 million of Cassava Sciences and hasn't sold a single share yet, which is a proof that the company will potentially become a big thing in the coming years. 
His recent taunting comments about Biogen's Alzheimer's drug approval also shows his confidence about his own Alzheimer's drug, Simufalum. Listen to what he said. Patients with Alzheimer's want clear and present evidence of drug efficacy, said Remy Barber, president and CEO. The recent regulatory approval of a new drug for Alzheimer's was a bit of a donny brook over this very topic. Our clinical strategy with Simufalum is to show real-world safety and efficacy by conducting both randomized control trials and an ongoing open-label study. Ideally, biomarker and cognition data from our studies converge and result in health benefits for patients. The unique feature which differentiates Simufalum from the rest of the proposed treatments of Alzheimer's disease is the disease targeting mechanism. Since 2003, it was considered that removing the amyloid plague, a protein that clogs the brain of patients, will result in the development of the disease. Till now, companies had focused their attention towards this approach, developing medications which aim to remove the amyloid plague. This approach has proven to be wrong, as a minimum of 20 trials of medicines which target amyloid plague have not proven to be successful in treating the disease. Giants like Eli Lilly, Biogen, and Merck have spent a hefty amount following this hypothesis, but failed. As per Dr. Aaron Kesselheim, who is a professor of medicine at Harvard Medical School, there is no good evidence that reducing amyloid leads to meaningful changes in the clinical course of the disease. Moreover, due to the risks associated with biogen drugs such as brain swelling and small bleeding in the brain, 23% of patients backed out of phase 3 trials, but still it was approved. Since the benchmarks have been lowered by the FDA itself, simufilum with better results is expected to easily get approved by the FDA. Cassava has changed the way of treating this disease by targeting the root cause of this amyloid plate buildup. The company's drug is used to recover the shape and function of a protein that is affected in the disease giving rise to amyloid plaques which results in decreasing the neurodegeneration and neuroinflammation. So simufilum does not remove the effects of the disease, rather it helps to prevent it. Simufilum works on the small molecule approach and it's evident from the research that small molecules targeting proteins misfoldings provide long-term effects. Alzheimer's disease is a grave threat, globally. That is why governments all over the world are concerned about finding a treatment. Like in other parts of the world, AD is a serious condition which has rattled the US government alike. On 27th May 2021, the US President Joe Biden said that you know, if we don't do something about Alzheimer's in America, every single solitary hospital bed that exists here, as the nurses can tell you, every single one will be occupied in the next 15 years with an Alzheimer's patient. Everyone. As per the reports of the World Health Organization, more than 50 million people around the globe are suffering from dementia, and 10 million new cases are added annually. The most common kind of dementia is Alzheimer's, making around 60-70% to 70 of the total. The future is very frightening, with Alzheimer's Disease International forecasting the number of patients with Alzheimer's or other dementia to increase to around 152 million. As per the analysis of Alzheimer's Association, in the US alone, more than 6 million people are suffering from the disease with a forecast of 13 million by 2050. Alzheimer's causes more deaths than prostate and breast cancer combined. As per the analyst of Anna's Bio, the Alzheimer's market is huge. According to an estimate of Alzheimer's Association, the disease is going to cost the US $355 billion in 2021, and it will increase to $1.1 trillion by 2050. The major portion of this cost is due to caregiving. As per reports of Alzheimer's Association, the lifetime cost of care for a patient was calculated to be around $373,000 in the last year. The commonly used treatment for Alzheimer's at the moment, such as acetylcholinesterase inhibitors, such as Aricept, provide sales of more than $5 billion globally in 2019 alone. Not to forget that these provide a temporary relief, and the effects start declining after a short period of time. Considering the seriousness of the disease, the FDA is now taking AD as a life-threatening disease. A huge increment in funding was done by the National Institute of Health amounting to around $3 billion in 2021, from a value of $929 million in 2016. The FDA is now searching for a drug that has the potential to improve both the cognition and biomarkers. Cassava backed with its strong results for both of these aspects is on its way of approval. The analysts at Seeking Alpha have done a number of analysis to forecast the price of the share. Let me provide you a summary of their target price calculations. Using a discounted cash flow analysis, the analyst has estimated a share price of $700, along with a huge amount of cash flow that will come along once the drug gets its approval. 
This analysis has been made considering a very conservative approach regarding the cost, prices, and penetration of the drug. Moreover, the discount rate is expected to decrease during the time the drug is on its way to approval. Another analysis has been made on the sale of acetylcholinesterase inhibitors, which were the most prevalent medication before Biogen's Eduom. This could give an idea of what sales Kasawa will be able to make. As mentioned earlier, these inhibitors gave around $5 billion in sales to 2019. Considering the fact that the big farmers were able to provide 4.1x peak sales on average, using this same multiple for cassava will be suitable. Using the same multiple of 4.1x, analysts have estimated an enterprise value of $20.5 billion for cassava, with a share price of around $517.